Tucked in the hills of rural Escondido near the Wild Animal Park sits San Pascual Academy, a one-of-a-kind residential educational campus for foster youth. But in March, the state of California informed the facility that their program would be ending in October. So we kick this set of youth out, the youth that we are responsible for, the dependents of the state and of the court, many of them who have no family, we put them out of their home. Reverend Shane Harris and other advocates for the academy have been fighting to extend the program until June 2022. In order for that extension to happen, the county and the academy must agree to a set of conditions that the state has sent in a letter. The main condition that advocates find troubling, no more foster youth can enroll in San Pasquale Academy. To say that you are no longer going to send youth to this campus is to say that this academy will close. Currently, there are 82 foster youth living at SPA, 15 alumni that have graduated from SPA that have returned to live there, and over 100 staff are running the program. There is a new federal law that discourages funding for congregate living and foster care facilities, and it's one of the reasons cited for shutting SPA down. Reverend Shane Harris is a former foster youth who attended SPA. He suggests the valuable land the academy sits on may be another reason motivating officials in charge. There's a different goal with this 238 acres that maybe, just maybe, the state and the county have invested in. And I would like to know what that is. What is the plan for this 238 acres? County Supervisor Jim Desmond was not available to comment. Advocates will be asking the County Board of Supervisors for an amendment to the agreement allowing new foster youth enrollment. Tanya Thorne, KPBS News.